Hello, it is Jess, and welcome to my packing video for myself for our trip to Virginia. Yay! So I've got a bunch of stuff laid out here. For anyone who doesn't know, me and my husband Adam just celebrated our 10 month and not 10 month. <laughs> Me and my husband Adam just celebrated our 10 year anniversary, not 10 months, 10 year wedding anniversary. We are taking a roller coaster trip to Kings Dominion and Bush Garden Williamsburg to celebrate and I'm going to spend a couple of days down in the Williamsburg area doing Colonial Williamsburg and stuff. I did a trip reveal video. Um, uh, about a month and a half ago and I'll link that below so if you want to learn more about the itinerary and stuff I already posted a packing video for my daughter who is six and who is not coming on our roller coaster trip with us she's going to be with her aunt aunt Steffi in Washington DC so I did her own packing video and I just wanted to show you what I will be packing for our what is it it is about six days and five nights away. So you might remember when I packed Rachel, my daughter's stuff, um, I didn't really have any specific outfits for specific days because I don't know what she and my sister, Aunt Steffi, are going to be doing every day. For me, it was a little different because I do have a general idea of what we're going to be doing each day, even though not every day there's like a set plan, but I kind of know where we're going to be. So for tomorrow, which is just driving, today is Saturday and tomorrow is Sunday. So for driving tomorrow, I've packed this awesome cool Yoda shirt. So amazing. I'm going to wear this tomorrow with just some basic pink shorts. For Monday, we're going to be in King's Dominion. It's obviously going to be like roasting hot the whole time we're there. Uh, I have a few ways to combat this, or at least I'm going to attempt to combat this. But um, So basically, I'll be wearing a lot of tanks, um, and I have this brand new Sharks with Floaties tank top. I'm planning on wearing to King's Dominion. It's a really fun tank. I haven't worn it yet. I showed this in my mystery haul a couple months ago, and I still haven't worn it. I've been saving it for this, so that's exciting. I'll be wearing this with just these basic blue shorts. They're good amusement park shorts. They're really old, if you can probably tell. <laughs> They're really, really old. On Tuesday, we're going to be driving past Kings Dominion down to Williamsburg. We're going to spend the day in Colonial Williamsburg. So I've just packed this kind of nice, um, nicer tank top. I usually look like a schlub when I'm going to a theme park because I want to be comfortable. Um, for this, I wanted to look a little bit nicer. I think we're going to be going to like one of those ye old taverns for lunch and stuff. So I packed this nice lace tank. Should still be comfortable. Um, and here's an under tank for it, so I'm not too flashy. <laughs> I'm just going to wear some comfortable jean shorts. They were also in the mystery hall. I don't know if you can hear Rachel is singing in the background. <laughs> Trying to keep her occupied while I've been literally packing for hours has been a little bit difficult. So anyway, so yeah, Wednesday is supposed to be kind of a rest day. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. I expect we're going to be swimming. I think the hotel has both an outdoor and an indoor pool. So whether however the weather is and the weather looks pretty decent, by the way. For the trip, I mean, there's a couple days that maybe say 30 or 40 percent chance of thunderstorms, but I mean, that's pretty common to have an afternoon thunderstorm, so I'm not really worried about that. Famous last words, right? We'll see. <laughs> to be continued, we'll see. Um, but anyway, so Wednesday, I assume we're going to be swimming. We probably are going to go out for a maybe a nice dinner that night. We also have not seen Jurassic World yet, and we thought maybe now would be a really good time to see it. So I packed a couple of different outfits for Wednesday. First option I have is like junky. Uh, you can't even tell the shirt. This is like a really old, old Navy shirt that was once Adams. So like this is like, yo, we're going to the pool and I'm just throwing a shirt on to go get brunch or something. You know, nothing too nice. Um, I'm not sure. Like I said, exactly our, what we're doing. So there's this shirt and just my junky pool shorts. <laughs> so <laughs> those are them. And by the way, we are not doing any water parks. That's the plan anyway. Um, we just don't have enough time. I don't want to be overburdened. We want to ride these coasters at King's Dominion and Bush Gardens. And I feel like if we did the water parks, it would be too much. But we may ride some water rides. 
because we're going to be boiling hot. Okay, so that's like Wednesday outfit number one. Wednesday outfit number two is like if we do date night. I'm assuming we probably will do a date night that night because it's the best day to do it. Maybe a little bit of a nicer dinner. Um, we're going to try to maybe eat like one bigger meal a day and one smaller meal a day. And there should be breakfast at the hotels. We can grab a bagel or something. Um, so I have this nice blue tank top for a date night and um, another under tank for that. So again, I'm not flashing anything or anybody. And these um, longer nice capris. I might have worn this exact outfit in Wildwood last year. Um, or maybe not. Maybe I wore it somewhere else. But it's a nice, it's a nice kind of going out casual outfit. And by the way, if you want to compare what I packed for this trip to the Wildwood trip from last year, which was our vacation last year. I'll link that below as well. So, okay. So then Thursday is the Bush Gardens Williamsburg day. It's our last like vacation day where we're not like traveling or anything. So, but it's another theme park day. So yeah, we have a nice um, sports tank for Bush Gardens, sporty shorts for Bush Gardens. And then Friday is traveling back home. We're going to pick up Rachel in DC. So I just packed a casual, this is a really actually old Tommy tank top. I have Tommy Hilfiger that I'm just going to throw on and an under tank for that as well, if necessary. And I'm not even sure if I'll wear that. And then just my gray towel shorts. I don't know if I've ever shown these on here, but they're really hideous, but they're really comfortable. They really do come in handy on like those days where you just need to work garbage and <laughs> it's like you're just running errands and you're not going anywhere special or like those theme I've worn these to Hershey Park on days when it's like almost 70 or like 65 when it's like you know you you need not jeans on but not like shorts so I thought that'd be good for going home and you know differing temperatures on quite a long car ride okay over here we have a variety of shoes because i wanted to bring several options um i don't really like wearing closed toed sneakers and stuff when it's boiling hot out that being said i will not walk around any sort of theme park or colonial williamsburg where i'm sure we're gonna be doing a lot of walking i will not do it in anything but really good sneakers i've loved doing this for a long time <laughs> I have learned that you need good sneakers. And now I really, I just get Nikes because I've tried other brands and they fall apart. And yes, when you do a lot of amusement park walking like I do, Nikes are the way to go. So I have, these are my nice pair of Nikes. They're my newest ones. I'm going to be wearing those probably to the two theme parks and probably Colonial Williamsburg as well. They're going to look great with that lace thing, but <laughs> that lace tank, but oh well. Um, and then these are kind of like my backups. They're my older ones. So I have going to bring those as well just because so I have them because you never know. I'm going to bring several flip flops though too because I don't really want to wear sneakers on days maybe where we're not doing a lot of walking. These pink ones I'm going to wear tomorrow with Yoda. Um, these Anna and Elsa ones I might wear for date night if we're not going to be doing a date night where we're going to walk a lot like if we're just going to dinner and a movie or something. On Wednesday, I might wear those. These I'm going to wear on the way home. And these are my water flip-flops. They're really, really, really old. But they work great for like water parks or pools. So that's what I'm going to wear. Hello, doggy pillar. <laughs> okay, and over here we have some other random uh, stuff. Uh, so I am packing a jacket. Like I said in Rachel's packing video, I doubt I'm going to need it. Although if we go to the movies, I probably will need it because I get cold all the time in the movies. All the time. It doesn't matter how hot it is. I need a jacket. So I'm bringing it. My trusty fanny pack. Anyone who's been following me for a while knows that I, this is the way I like to carry things around in amusement parks. I always wear it to Hershey. First used it in Disney World a couple of years ago. It's the best thing ever. You can take it on almost any ride. I'm very fashion forward. Um, I'm well, please, you already know how fashion forward I am from watching this channel. Come on. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring oh, just one, I think we'll share it, of uh, our water bottles. We're not carrying too much stuff. We won't have a stroller to stuff things in like we normally do at Hershey. I know that both King's Dominion and Bush will provide free ice water. I'm bringing two rain ponchos. I mean, Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to bring them to the parks. I might leave them in the car. I don't want to carry them around. I mean, even if it rains, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. Like if we get a little wet 
but I'm bringing them anyway because I just don't want to be without them. And that leaves the bathing suits. I am bringing several bathing suits because I don't know exactly what we're doing. So I might even wear a bathing suit under my clothes to one of the theme parks, to be honest, because, you know, I, I, I there are some, like, non-water park rides that, like, but our water rides, if that makes sense, like flumes and stuff, that I will definitely want to ride um, Escape Escape to Pompeii or Escape from Pompeii. The Pompeii ride in Busch Gardens comes to mind. It looks really cool. It's one of those big splash shoot the shoot rides. I definitely want to ride that. So I did bring, I'm bringing all my bathing suits because I just, I, I want them in case I need them. So from Wildwood, you'll recognize all of them. We have old lady. We have old mom. <laughs> two piece <laughs> top and bottoms which are a little upside down and super old lady right here uh which is a really old bathing suit i have and it's mostly a backup but um i really like it i just it's getting kind of old so yes those are my three classic bathing suits they're back from wildwood ready to go to virginia and i'm bringing a couple towels my good old darth mall towel mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh no spoilers but yee. okay anyway um darth maul and just like a boring one so yeah you know <laughs> i only have this this is my only star wars towel sorry it is vintage it's from the phantom menace 99 era so we're bringing a couple like jewelry and makeup things too and toiletries stuff like that yeah but that's pretty much all i'm packing so I hope you guys are ready because there's going to be a ton of vlogs from Virginia coming up. I'm better at this than I was last year. At least I like to think I am. So I'm hoping to be a little more prepared as to when to have the camera ready. To be warned, I know that some of these parks, especially Kings Dominion, are a little strict about locker usage. So I'm not sure how much footage I'll be able to get of like queues and waiting for coasters and I might stow the camera away for a bit and my phone too so I'll try to get as much as I can but I feel much more prepared than I did last year for like you know my big Hershey trip and even for Wildwood it was a learning experience for everything so look for those Virginia videos coming soon check out last year's packing video from Wildwood and my vacation reveal linked below and yeah, lots of really fun things ahead. I'll see you in the next one.